Boris Johnson getting a hard time there from the crowd. So let's discuss these issues. We're joined in the studio by Daniel Snell. He's the founder of Arrival Education. It works with young people to help them become successful. Students, you can call him Gilbert Sabaki, who is 17, lives in Hackney, in one of the areas badly affected by the rise. Let me ask you first, Gilbert, when you, when you saw the rioting take place, what was your reaction? Were you surprised? Were you shocked? I was shocked, but more upset that my community like, was getting, going down the drain, really, like, and everything that's local to me was just getting destroyed. Among your friends, when you get together and talk, is there anger or bored? And that's what we've been hearing, that the youth are angry and bored. Um, among my friends, it's really confusion, because not, not a lot of my friends are involved in any of this, so it's really confusion about how it's got to this stage. What do you think? I think, personally, that it's down to anger, and people aren't necessarily sure at what they're angry at. So they say they're angry at police, but then they go and set cars on fire, set businesses on fire. They say they're angry at the system, but they don't protest and follow the right ways to get anything effective done. And I think rooted in this is just fair, because like, everyone's uncertain about the future and about what prospects are there for them. So this is just escalated, boiled over to the point at where now we have a full-scale riot. Mm. What do you think, Daniel? Were you surprised by what you saw? You deal with young people in trying to make sure they, they don't do the kind of rioting that we saw, that we've seen for three nights. Uh, am I surprised? I'm not sure if I'm surprised. I'm saddened and I'm frustrated uh, and I'm angry and I think the nation is angry and I don't think young people have a monopoly on anger, but I think they act like they do. I think young people have inexperience of life and make all sorts of assumptions uh, and don't understand cause and effect. And uh, here we have a situation where we're living in a time of austerity, there are cuts, many of the services in these communities have been cut back. Were all of these young people engaged in all those services? I'm not sure. A lot of them were just out on the streets and on the roads. Would it have helped, though, we had an, a, another guest earlier who said, had there been more training centres, this wouldn't have happened? It's possible, but, uh, uh, you know, probably. But I don't think it's necessarily about the opportunities that are available, because there are always an abundance of opportunities. What, what in my mind, is the issue is, first of all, there is very little confidence in these communities. And mm. even if you do bring opportunities to them, they often don't know what to do with them, and they're often overwhelmed by the opportunities. And secondly, there aren't really pathways into experiences uh, that they would consider aspirational or or into work, really. So what are you trying to do within your it's arrive, arrival education, which sort of talks about aspiration and success? What could make the difference? Well, I think... I mean, look what, at these scenes, extraordinary. Yeah, they are extraordinary. I mean, people around the world have been shocked. Yeah, and I think, I, think, I think we're all saddened and disappointed by that as well. Um, is it bigger than society has the me means to deal with? Well, I think there is there's 20 years this has been building up for 20 years, partly because we've got a culture where people are not quick to stamp down on this, and we live in a time of political correctness where it's not appropriate to be heavy-handed, and, and, and perhaps that's the right way to go. But now we're seeing a switch over, and this evening, uh, I think the police are gonna come down pretty hard. So my hope is these young people come off the streets and stay off the streets. Um, because we've got to a tipping point, I think, mm. in the UK now where we're collectively mad enough to force administration to get the police uh, engaged in these communities in a more direct way. Um, and if young people are listening to this, they should definitely get off the streets. And, and, and also mothers, uh, mothers should know where their children are. Mm. We wish you the best with your program, Daniel. Thank you. Gilbert, we wish you the best too. Thanks. <laughs> Next time you come in, maybe you'll be a CEO. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Thank you for having us. <laughs> Thank you.